Hello, welcome back to Torah Reading Made Simple. So before we begin, let's do a quick review of what we learned last time in Lesson 1. We learned the most important trope, the Sof Pasuk, the end of the verse, and how it combines with the Mercha Tipcha. And it went like this. Mercha Tipcha Sof Pasuk. Okay, but let's get used to reading the Hebrew. Now you see, Tipcha, that's where you do the spike, the short spike. Mercha Tipcha Sof Pasuk. And I just want to mention, sometimes the Tipcha will come first. He's the punctuator. So you have to pay attention. Where is the closing arc? The, the, this is an open arc. It is open to the next word. This is a closing arc because it is sort of is a, it's a punctuator. It tells you to stop here. So here you would do. So you notice Mercha has no melody of its own. So we could say Mercha merges merges into the next word, whereas tipcha, tiptoes. It's like you would stand on your tiptoes for a little bit, a short spike, okay? And sometimes you'll have this pattern, a mercha, tipcha, another mercha, once again, and sof pasuk. So remember, mercha merges. Mercha, tipcha, mercha, sof pasuk. Go ahead and do that. Okay, so that was last lesson, and today we're going to learn the second most important trope. Drum roll, please. The etnachta. This is an upside down field goal, as you can see. That's what I like to call it. it comes from the word nach, meaning pause, rest. It's like a uh, semicolon, comma. Now, what happens in a football game? after the field goal. There's a big pause, there's a commercial break. And what do people do? They dip their chips in the bowl. So after the field goal, you dip the chips in the bowl and that is the melody. So I have chips and, or crackers to be accurate, and uh, onion dip. So here's how it's gonna go. It's not you dip and go back up, okay? And then you eat it. But I'm not going to eat it because I need to teach this. So let's do that again. Okay? So let's see how that appears in the patterns. So we have Mercha Tipcha and Etnachta. Um, and again, the same rule, mercha merges. So no melody on this trope. Here the short spike, and here dip in the bowl. Dip and bring it back up. So, mercha tipcha et nachta. You do it. Excellent. Okay, and then here's another variation. Now I want to introduce this guy, the half square, Munach, he's also a connector. He merges into the etnachta. So we can circle them together and say that the Munach and the etnachta combine. And so it's going to be Munach etnachta. Okay, where's my etnachta? Oh, there. <laughs> it, it jumped to the second row. The field goal. Okay? Melcha tipcha munach et nachta. Okay, let's see how this actually is chanted with real verses. Okay? Not with... Because nobody reads Torah with melcha tipcha et nachta. We have to see how it's in real life. So, this is from the last aliyah of Kitisa. The, if you want to open it up, chapter 34, verse 27 in the book of Shemot. So, uh, let's see here. Let's zoom in. 
Let's zoom in. Let's see. Can you recognize what is under the lecha? That's a tzipcha. And then under hadevarim, we have a munach, the half square. And there it is, our upside down field goal. Ha'ele. Okay, and when you see hyphenated words, so you just say them together. So remember, a short spike on the tzipcha. Ketov lecha. And now let's dip in the bowl. Et ha'devarim ha'ele. Ketov lecha. Et ha'devarim ha'ele. Okay? Excellent. Let's see another verse here. Let's zoom in. In the next verse we have on these le- words, umayim lo shata. Okay, we have, let's see, can you guess? Correct, tipcha. And then, yes, munach. And then there he is, the upside down field goal, where we dip the chips in the salsa sh- the, under the word shata. So, umayim lo shata. Your turn. Let's do one more. Okay. In verse 29, let's zoom in on these two words, on these three words, actually, but they're, these two are connected. So here it's just the tipcha, which is perfectly legitimate. We said that the mercha sometimes disappears because he's just a connector, and he says, well, if you treat me as a connector, that means I don't have to be here. So he goes home, and we're just left with the tipcha, where we'll do the short spike, and then the min hahal, where we're going to dip in the bowl. Berideto min hahal. Excellent. And keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next video.